All right, sixth graders, Pastor Febricorn back with you. I hope you've enjoyed these Holy Week videos the pastors have been putting together for you. I think this is the last one I'm recording for you. Uh, and we're going to talk right now about Peter's denial. So at the Last Supper, Jesus tells Peter uh, in no uncertain words that Peter is going to deny Jesus three times. And Peter says, I would never uh, do that, Lord. Remember, Peter's the one who first confessed Jesus to be the Christ. Uh, Jesus said, Peter, who do you say that I am? And Peter said, you're the Christ, the Son of the living God. And he's the first one of the disciples to say that and to speak that. And Jesus says, blessed are you, Simon, for, for God has, or man has not revealed this to you, but God from heaven. So Peter speaks a lot in the Gospels. Uh, he speaks more than any other disciple. And so uh, he's going to speak back to Jesus, Lord, I will never deny you. But then what happens after Jesus is arrested? Some people approach Peter and, uh, you know, now things are getting dicey. Uh, Jesus is arrested. What's going to happen with the disciples? Are they going to be arrested too? And uh, someone asks Peter, hey, weren't you with Jesus? And Peter says, I don't know what you're talking about. Another person asks him, weren't you with that man who was arrested? And Peter says, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and then a third time someone asks him, and Peter responds the same way. Now, then a rooster crows, and that's an important detail I forgot, is that Jesus had told uh, Peter that before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And really, the rooster crows to uh, signal that morning has come. They crow when the sun comes up. And so before the sun is up, Peter has three chances to say, yes, I follow Jesus, I'm with him, but he doesn't. He denies him. Um, but the really cool thing about all of this is that if, if Peter can deny Jesus, then that means none of us, no matter how strong we think our faith in Jesus might be, none of us are immune to denying him. Uh, people might put pressure. Why do you believe God created the heavens and the earth? Or why, uh, why do you uh, put your faith? Why do you go to church? Uh, why do you believe all these things? Uh, throughout your life, people may challenge your faith, and it's so easy in the face of pressure to say, maybe I don't believe these things. Oh, I don't believe them that much. Uh, whatever it may be to get the pressure off you, but uh, a bold faith says, yes, I believe these, and then if there's consequences for that, so be it. Now, really cool thing, though, is that after Jesus is resurrected, uh, Jesus appears to the disciples on the shores of Galilee. They catch a bunch of fish. They have breakfast on the beach. And then Jesus pulls Peter aside. So it's just Peter and Jesus all alone. And Jesus says, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, well, yes, Lord, of course I love you. And Jesus says, then I want you to feed my sheep. You know, and fine, you know, God just wants to hear Peter affirm his love for him. But then Jesus asks Peter again. He says, Peter, do you love me? And Peter says, well, yeah, 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 Lord. I do love you the second time. And Jesus says, then I want you to, to feed my sheep. And then Jesus asks a third time, Peter, do you love me? And you can imagine by this point, Peter is somewhat annoyed. I mean, how many times does he need to say this? He says, yes, Lord, of course. You know, I've said twice already, of course, I love you. And Jesus looks at him and says, feed my sheep. Now, Peter may have initially thought that Jesus was doing this to get under his skin or annoy him, but I bet you in that moment, Peter understood what was going on. Peter had denied Jesus three times. And by Jesus asking Peter this question, do you love me three times, and allowing Peter to say, yes, I do, it was Peter's reinstatement. It was almost as if Jesus was saying, see, you denied me three times before, but now three times you've affirmed your love for me. And what confidence that would have given Peter to know that, all the wrong that he had done, all the denial he had done had been overcome and forgiven. And now Jesus was sending him out to be an apostle to all nations, to feed his sheep. Uh, and down through the ages, we have been fed by the apostle Peter through the books uh, he wrote in the Bible and through the teaching he started and passed along. And so we give thanks to Jesus who shows forgiveness to even the worst of sinners. Uh, have fun with your continued journey through Holy Week and God's peace to you.